All right, well, today is all about gaming. And I mean all day, because this morning we ran a 5K as Mario and Luigi, full car setup and everything. And so I figured, what better way to tie this whole thing in to my trailers set up here um. with my video gaming. All right, this setup that we've got going on here, this is a uh, computer monitor that actually runs off of 12 volt. So it's perfect for integrating directly into the trailer. Um, it has the, the RCA cables and whatnot as well, but uh, being that I was able to pick this up at a thrift store for a good price, um, and it's 12 volt already, it, it is ideal for having in your RV or your trailer. Over here, this system that we're running is uh, the original Wii and I just uh, put a bracket over the top to be able to hold it in and the Wii actually runs right off of 12 volt as well so I was able to just um, get an adapter a car adapter for it right off of eBay pretty cheap and uh, it integrates perfectly into here Now it may be a little bit dark back here, but I wanted to show you these are standard connectors that they use. Um, my particular monitor up here was able to use the regular video cable um, out of the back of the Wii. And um, this cable here that comes with the, the 12 volt adapter is it's just a standard one that fits right in there. So I do have as well an adapter to go from the Wii's video output to HDMI. So if you end up finding a monitor or whatever monitor you're using, whether it be a TV or computer monitor, um, you do have the option with the Wii to go HDMI, which may end up um, a little bit easier because just one cable and whatnot. I know this is just one cable for for my setup, and I'll get this cleaned up so it's kind of tucked away and up here. But um, either way, this is uh, just that bracket that I was talking about, which secures it right down, and uh, having the we as a choice of video gaming system in the trailer works out really well because since everything's um, integrates in here really easy so the bar up here is just held on with a couple pieces of velcro um, stays put no problem there it's really lightweight and then to shift over to here um, this is just some pegboard that the holes on the back ended up lining up perfectly well on the back of the monitor to screw into the back um, and then these two go into the subframe right through this pegboard. Uh, kind of was a, a DIY TV mount that this thing, it's not going anywhere. It's been on the road for quite a, quite a while actually now and I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, moving up, I'm gonna turn these down. Um, I wired right above here this, this distribution block for the 12 volt source, power source, mostly because even with these devices turned off, they draw a little bit of power. And I didn't want it to have too big of an impact on here for um, my battery source. So I wanted this switch where I could say, okay, completely kill the gaming system so I don't have to worry about any trickle draw on the, on the batteries. All right, now we're back over to the electrical distribution area, and I want to show you the multimeter that I use for how much draw is coming out of the system. So right now I'm running all of my lights, and I'm currently pulling four amps out of that battery that's back there right now. A minute ago I turned off the lights, um, killed any of the, of the residual draw and whatnot, and I was pulling about three and a half amps. Um, it's, it would be a, a decent average or um, a good ballpark for what the Wii and the monitor use together. Three and a half amps I would say is not bad at all, especially if you've got a few batteries and whatnot. Um, you could definitely game for a little while. So if you're on the road, kids need a break or something and then um, it's getting dark out to where it's uh, not safe for them to be outside anymore, come in play some video games till bedtime and you're good to go. All right, so I actually do have some other stuff besides just the video games. Um, I've got some sudo Sudoku over here as well as over here I've got uh, 
some different checkers, horseshoes, all sorts of different stuff. So we don't come out here just to uh, go gaming and whatnot, but when we're out, it's definitely uh, pre pretty entertaining to be able to fire it up and have this in place to be able to uh, kind of kill some time. So she likes gaming. I like gaming. We have a good time. And I just wanted to uh, throw this together real quick for you guys for what I do on my setup. So if you want to throw a Wii into your trailer, I say go for it. Don't kill me. These mine. 